Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. So today is a video that I don't think I ever expected to be filming. I think 2020 and 2021 has really taught us about what we value and has really shaken things up in terms of like what you want to have in your wardrobe. I feel like today is going to be one of those hauls that like if my mum was to watch she'd be like why couldn't you have just bought this stuff <laughs> when I told you to like when you're a teenager and you wouldn't listen and you wore the most impractical outfits in the world. So today is going to be a bit of a practical haul. It's going to be some like winter essentials that I am adding into my wardrobe that are pretty much things that like are essential for now that I never really had in my wardrobe before. I never really took the time to invest in them because to be perfectly honest, I didn't need this stuff back before 2020. I think this year has really changed my wardrobe in terms of like what I'm needing in, what I'm valuing in my wardrobe and what I'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis. So we've got quite a few things here. We've got some Zara, we've got some Marquette, we've got some new in fashion. So I thought I would go through them, show you what I've been picking up and I will link everything in the description box below so you can shop any of these items as well because I have a feeling that a lot of you guys are probably going to have been or will be investing in a lot of these items yourself. As I said, I feel like things have just changed so much in terms of what we're wearing, what we're buying, what we're valuing and these items I think are definitely items that are essential for right now. So let's jump straight into the video. I'll show you what I've been picking up and we can go through some of the more practical items in my wardrobe. Now I'm going to start with the item that literally kickstarted this entire haul and I am obsessed with this. Now this is a Forge Teddy puffer coat and I'm so, so in love. Now if you watched my winter coat collection video, you will see that I had a puffer coat in there and I spoke about how like a puffer coat is quite essential right now and like a lot of us are turning to them and it's really, really great for a daily walk. And when I saw this online, I was like, this is the puffer coat that I never knew I needed and I'm obsessed with it, absolutely obsessed. Obviously like Borg is a very, I never know whether to say Borg or Borg. I can never tell, but it's quite a like on trend thing at the moment. Lots of like walk furniture, pieces, like clothing items. And I personally love it because it's so, so cozy, so, so comfy and just like a really, really nice thing to add into your wardrobe. So I saw this online, it's like cropped, which I really like about it because I find that sometimes when they're a little bit too long, like I like to have a mix of both and you'll see from this haul, I definitely like to have a mix of like both long line and shorter coats to kind of like mix and match in my wardrobe, depending on my mood, depending on where I'm going, depending on how cold it is. And this is just such a welcome addition into my wardrobe. Now I picked this up from Dorothy Perkins. It's actually from a brand called Lola Sky. And I still have the label on, even though I've worn this out twice. I need to take that off. Um, should we pull that off now? No, I'm not gonna be able to pull that off now. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love it. It's from Dorothy Perkins and it is so, so cozy. And obviously as it's a high street purchase, it's much more affordable, but it is still really, really warm and snuggly. I absolutely love it. I'll show you what it looks like on because I am just obsessed with this. So just to show you what the jacket looks like on, and now this isn't the kind of usual outfit I would style it with. This is just what I'm wearing today. Um, so I thought I would just show you. Now it is obviously rather cropped, but as a petite girl, I quite like that because I do often find that even with like cropped puffers, they can still come down a bit low. This literally hits exactly on my waist, which is really, really nice. It's like the smallest part. So I do find it very, very flattering. Now obviously it is like very puffy, which I quite like, but because it's so cropped, I find that it's not too like, too much so yeah love this style up with just like some jeans or something or even just some leggings for like when you're going on a walk is just it's exactly how I like to style it so I am such a big fan of this jacket I love it so so much I believe I picked this up in a either a 12 or a medium I can't remember one of the two um but yeah I'm such a big fan of this now the next item I wanted to show you is something that has really really boomed in last year in terms of like practicality and in terms of fashion and that is tote bags I love me a tote bag and when I saw this one on ASOS I was like I just need I need that in my life that is gorgeous and it is huge absolutely huge so it says nice and cool on it and it's this really really nice like 
oatmeal-y, very, very natural kind of like fiber fabric. And it is so, so cute. Like it goes with absolutely anything in my wardrobe. But I have been using this like as a bag and as a tote bag in itself. Like, the one thing that I do really like about tote bags is they're very like multi-purpose. So obviously at the moment, all I've really been using it for is to take it to the supermarket and do my weekly shop. But I think once we're out of lockdown, this is the kind of thing you could easily use as like an overnight bag. You can shove some clothes in it. You could use it as a work bag. It would definitely fit like a laptop, a charger, a water bottle, anything like that. It is absolutely massive and I think I never would have been that bothered about tote bags before this year it was something that like I don't know I had a few in my wardrobe that just kind of like I shoved to the side and would just grab them when I needed to go out most of them were just like freebies that I would get from events or from like I don't know if I bought a bag and there was like a free tote bag with it or clothes or things like that I never really like invested in them but I think this year really is the year to invest in tote bags not only are they so so practical but as I said they're definitely becoming more of a fashion piece like there's even some designer tote bags on the market that I really really like obviously you've got the more like trendy ones such as like the Dior ones and like things like that much more colorful but I think just something really really simple and basic is definitely an essential to add into your wardrobe I think it's something that you can keep for a really really long time it's much more sustainable than obviously grabbing like plastic bags at the supermarket and it still looks really really cool so i'm a big fan of this i'll link it down below i think it is a really great thing to add into your wardrobe this winter next thing i picked up was a new scarf and i love me a nice cozy scarf i've got a few in my wardrobe i've got like my burberry and like a couple of high street options and one thing I realised I was missing was I was missing a plain camel scarf. And I really, really like how camel scarves look on. I think they are really, really elegant and really add something to an outfit. I really love pairing camel with black at the moment. As you guys know, I have a lot of black outfits. I've got a black coat from River Island that I'm obsessed with. And I was pairing it with like a camel jumper over the top. And I loved how it looked. But I really, really wanted to grab a camel scarf so that I could pair that with the coat, see what it looked like stay really really warm and snuggly and i feel like a scarf is just something that you need in your wardrobe regardless of whether it's lockdown or regardless of whether you're like back to normal life because this is something you can just throw over the top of an outfit it'll keep you really really cozy warm and still looks really really fashionable it doesn't take anything away from your outfit it can even be paired really really nicely to kind of like elevate an outfit to go with it obviously i have a very very neutral wardrobe so camel goes so so well with my wardrobe goes so well with blacks whites neutrals i absolutely love this now one thing that a few of you have kind of commented on recently is um it's always really like awkward talking about this but it's like just regards to like my size and things like that and a few of you have commented on the fact that i have lost weight and i just want to say like i know it's meant as a compliment so thank you very much um but i haven't actually lost weight per se but one thing that i have been doing is just throwing myself a little bit more into exercise i was feeling really really down at the start of this lockdown and i kind of had to have a bit of a word with myself and be like you know what you are doing nothing like you're not going out you're barely going on walks like you know how sometimes when your mood's bad you don't want to do anything which then makes your mood worse which means you don't want to do anything and i think i just got myself into quite a like cycle of that so i decided i was like you need to start working out a bit more just going for a run just once or twice a day and one thing that i have actually invested in which i can't exactly show you in this video is an exercise bike which has really really helped because when it's so dark and wet and miserable you don't want to go outside like i don't feel really safe running in the dark and i would much rather just cozy up in a blanket so for me to like do any form of exercise was that you just need to do something so i went on facebook marketplace and bought a second hand exercise bike and i just bring it out of an evening pretty much every evening recently at about half five i'll stick on a youtube video because most people upload their youtube videos about five o'clock i'll stick on a youtube video and literally just cycle for half an hour sometimes i've been doing a few like peloton exercises but i don't always want to go that ham sometimes i literally just want something nice and easy literally just watch something on youtube and cycle and it's really really been helping me out so i wanted to invest in a few more exercise clothes and like workout clothes and i'm obsessed with this new in set this is from dorothy perkins again and it's from their new activewear collection and i really really like this it's called hit h-i-i-t and it's absolutely gorgeous it looks tiny but it is like very very stretchy and holds you really really nicely and what i like is that it's a bit thicker than your usual like activewear and it's not as rubbery does anyone else find that a lot of activewear pieces feel really rubbery this feels very very soft which i absolutely love so this comes with leggings and it's got a little bra 
sports bra with it now i'm not the kind of person that just wears like sports bras to the gym but when i'm at home i will happily just wear leggings and a sports bra just to do my cycle because no one's gonna see me so i'm really really happy to have gotten these into my collection i always think like new active wear and like maybe a new workout look will just kind of like motivate you a bit more so take this as a calling as much as i used to hate those people that were like oh go and do some exercise take this as your sign to go and do a bit of exercise go for a run if you can if you've got a bike sitting in your cupboard get your exercise bike out even if you just want to do a 10 minute like yoga class on a yoga mat this is your sign go and do it now <laughs> Now, as well as some active wear leggings, I also picked up some new jersey leggings. I love me some jersey leggings. I just find they're so, so basic and like one of those items you just need in your wardrobe. I've been pairing them up a lot with like oversized jumpers and boots and I really, really like how they look. They're just so, so cozy and really, really comfortable. I always get questions about my favourite um, leggings and for reference, I will link them down below. I always go for the same kind of leggings. I find that they're the best in terms of like not too see-through but not too thick that they're like unflattering. They don't give you a camel toe and for us petite girls, you're gonna love them. So check out the description box for the leggings that I always buy. They are my absolute favorites. Next up, I have a couple of things from Adidas to show you. Now, I think we can all probably agree, I'm not really the biggest like Adidas kind of a gal. I'm not really one of those like sports luxe kind of girls. I can't pull off joggers and like really cool looks. I'm just not really that kind of girl. But as I said, lockdown has changed me. 2020 and 2021 has really changed me. So I have invested in a Sports Lux beanie from Adidas and I absolutely love it. This is the perfect chuck it on when your hair is greasy AF and you don't want to make an effort and you don't want anyone to recognize who you are. Put this on and some sunglasses and then if you have to go somewhere, a mask and no one will know who the hell you are. I absolutely love it. So this is a really, really nice like thick beanie. It's not lined or anything, but it's just like a really, really nice, I don't even know what fabric this is. It kind of feels like a thick jersey fabric, which I think is really, really nice. And it fits nicely on my pea head. I do often struggle with beanies because I have such a tiny little head. I know sometimes it doesn't look like I do, but I think because I'm fairly in proportion, like obviously I'm a petite girl, so I've got small feet, I've got small head, like it often doesn't look like it. And people constantly comment like, you don't look like you have a pea head or like, you don't look like you're five foot. And I'm like, guys, trust me, I am. If you saw me next to Alex, if you put our heads together, you would understand. Um, but yeah, it fits my pea head, which is a absolute bonus. I really, really love it, but it's still really stretchy. So I think if you had a big head, this would still be absolutely fine on you. Like, look at that. It's fab. So I would definitely recommend investing in a beanie. I think if you're going on walks a lot at the moment, it's a great way to keep you really, really nice and snugly warm. And also, one thing I hate is the fact that you lose the heat out the top of your head. So if I forget a hat on my walk, I just get like really cold really quickly because all the heat's like escaping. So very practical in that sense, but still it's like a fairly trend item because beanies are very in, the sports luxe kind of vibe is very in. So you're not compromising too much on your fashion. <laughs> And then the other item from Adidas that I picked up is some new trainers. I feel like my trainer wardrobe is just growing and growing and it probably won't change. Like it's just gonna keep growing for a very, very long time. And I think that is just something we've accepted in 2021. So these are a new pair of Adidas trainers. No idea what they're called, no idea what style they are. I am really, really useless with that, but I will link them down below if I can still get them. I really, really like these though. They're like nice and chunky. And these are the kind of trainers that I'm gonna wear on walks so that I'm not gonna bother about getting muddy or like ruining. Obviously I wouldn't want to wear like my Balenciagas on like a nice walk because I would worry about ruining them. These are the kind that I'm probably going to ruin and not gonna care. <laughs> now going back to coats, as I said, I like to have a choice of some shorter coats and some longer line coats. Now this isn't something that I picked up in the last month or so. I got this just before Christmas, but I wanted to show you guys it in this haul because I love it. And also I love this brand because as they're a lot more sustainable, they have items on their website for a lot longer and that's new in. Now I did actually collaborate on them on Instagram with this coat. This isn't part of the collaboration at all. I just wanted to show you it because I love this coat so, so much. And it's this absolutely stunning long line puffer coat. Now, Yes, it's not in the most practical colour, I will give you that. And I've often worn this on walks and like people have been like, oh, you're going to ruin your coat. But what I love about this is because it's like one of those kind of waterproofy, puffery coats, the mud just wipes off and I don't worry too much about that at all. I do think about investing in a black puffer, but to be perfectly honest, I just, 
I really, really like the creamy, nicely coloured puffers. It makes me feel a lot more elevated. It makes me feel like I'm still dressed up for my walk, even if I don't have makeup on and I'm literally wearing leggings and a jumper underneath. This makes me feel a bit more pulled together and it has a tie waist, so it really cinches in your waist. You can still look a little bit more fashion on your walk than like maybe you normally would. I just love this. I think this is so, so gorgeous. And as I said, it's made from recycled fabrics. So really, really great if you are really trying to look in to be a bit more sustainable or really trying to make a conscious effort in your wardrobe. So I will link this down below. I absolutely love this coat. It is just, I call this my duvet coat because I literally feel like I'm wrapped in a duvet whenever I wear this. Now I know the biggest question I'm gonna get asked with this coat is about the length. So that's why I thought I would just show you what it looks like on and I love it so, so much. This really is the perfect length on me. I just love it. So it comes kind of like, not even mid-calf, a bit below mid-calf. It comes probably about this high up above my ankles, which I really, really like. I find that very, very flattering, especially if you don't have trousers on and you're just wearing boots, because it makes you look a lot taller. But I absolutely love the style of this. It is just so, so cute. I love how you can cinch it in, really pull in your waist. It looks very, very flattering. Also looks really nice with the skirt, like, open. That's how I style it on my Instagram, and I really, really liked that look. But it is just one of the most practical, cosy, but still cute cutest coats that I have in my wardrobe. I'm so, so glad that I picked this up. It is absolutely stunning. I love the color. Obviously, as I said, the color isn't exactly as practical as black, but I think, like, I still think it's a fairly practical color and it's something that goes with everything in my wardrobe. So I'm a big fan of this coat. I really, really like it. I would definitely recommend adding this to your wardrobe. Moving from real coats to what people call a house coat. And um, I'm sorry, I, that's really cringy for me to say, but I just thought that was a really nice transition. I don't call them house coats, don't worry. I'm not that weird. It's a dressing gown. I wanted to invest in a new dressing gown this winter because my old one is about a year old now and I like to chop and change them. I do sometimes find, because I wear a lot of fake tan and stuff, obviously I can get fake tan on my dressing gown. It can get a little bit like, needing a wash and the worst thing in the world is when you're dressing gowns in the wash and you just wanna be nice and snugly warm. So I wanted to get a second one in my wardrobe. Now this is a bit of a lighter one from Gilly Hicks that I have just fallen in love with. It's this really gorgeous like white with this like interesting, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got this really interesting like design on it, which just adds a little bit of detail. It has pockets with Anna hood, which is always my criteria when it comes to dressing gown. I mean hood, not so much, but pockets. I had a dressing gown in the past that had no pockets and it drove me insane. So it has pockets, it has a hood and it's got a nice tie waist belt so you can cinch it in and keep you really, really snugly warm. And as I said, I just love the color. It's just, I feel like I am really, really drawn to much lighter colors at the moment. And I think it's kind of a way to like boost my mood a bit, make me feel a little bit more elevated in lockdown and looks like I'm still a little bit dressed up. So yeah, really like this. I'll link it down below. It is the softest dressing gown in the world. You are not going to regret adding this to your wardrobe. So let's talk about some new in bits from Zara. Now I picked up a couple of these little tanks. Now I'm actually wearing one underneath here, so I can't show you this one, but this is one that I haven't actually taken the label off yet or worn yet. And I thought I'd show you it in this video. I am in love with this. I really, really like wearing these kind of tank tops. I am someone that does not like wearing a bra. I absolutely hate bras and maybe this is a bit TMI but I'm gonna tell you anyway because we're all girls around here and we all know what bras feel like but I'm someone who hates wearing a bra but I definitely don't have small enough boobs to get away without wearing anything. I've tried a few times and I just feel a bit self-conscious. People have noticed sometimes and it's just I want to be comfortable in what I'm wearing but also like in myself and I've noticed that these kind of tank tops are the perfect go between if you're someone that doesn't like wearing a bra but your boobs are too big to not wear nothing so these just hold you in nicely it makes you feel a little bit more kind of like shaped but without being tight without having an underwire without having like lots of lace around you it's so so comfy so these are what I've been wearing non-stop recently I absolutely love them they're from Zara they're so so affordable I think they're something like two pounds fifty or like three pounds or something they are really really affordable and really really comfortable now the only thing I will say and this is just a petite girl thing is that spaghetti straps are a little bit too long so they do sometimes fall down but because of the material because of how stretchy it is and like because of how tight it is they don't need the straps anyway. Like you could easily get away with this as a bardo. So if you wanted to cut the straps off, that would definitely be an option. Um, I personally just keep them on because they are like really itty bitty tiny. I don't worry about them too much. So yeah, just one thing to note, but I really, really like these. I will link these down below for you guys to shop if you want them. They come in gray, 
white and black I believe and I have literally one in every color I just wanted to pick myself up a few more because I like to have lots like rotating so that I know that I've always got them on hand but yeah absolutely love these next up we have a order here from Arquette and I'm not gonna lie literally arrived about five minutes before I started filming this video so I haven't even opened it yet if you watched a recent video of mine I I think it was my loungewear video, but I can't remember which video I spoke about these in. Oh, that hair's annoying me. Can't remember which video I spoke about these in, um, but I spoke about some new socks that I picked up from Marquette, and I was saying that the white weren't in stock, and as soon as they were, I'd let you guys know, and I was gonna order myself some more. Well, they came back in stock. So I've ordered myself one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pairs of white, and another pair of gray because I love these socks so much. I'm wearing them on my feet right now and they are so, so cozy. They are not as thick and cozy as like cashmere socks, but they're definitely a lot more maintainable and easy to wash, easy to clean. You don't have to worry about like debobbling them or anything. So I think these are a bit more of like a practical purchase, whereas the cashmere ones are much cozier and much more like luxurious. But I would definitely recommend adding these into your wardrobe. I think these are really, really great cozy socks. They're perfect for at home. And I think the white look really like classy like they don't look like you're wearing old man socks which i really really like about them so i'll link them in the description box because i would definitely recommend picking them up they keep selling out really really quickly so hopefully they'll still be in stock once this video goes live but if not i'll keep you updated make sure you're following me on instagram and i'll put up my stories as soon as these come back in if they are out of stock and carrying on the theme of socks, I was recently contacted by a brand called Luxury Legs and they were offered to send me a few products, which I was really, really excited to try. So the first thing they've sent over is some tights. Now, if you know me, you know, I'm not the biggest wearer of tights, mainly because I often find them quite uncomfortable, but I'm quite excited to give these a try because they're supposed to be really, really soft and comfy tights. I'm going to open the packet just to have a little bit of a feel. Now, these are the 80 Denier, which I think is a nice in the middle like I don't like them too sheer but I don't like them too thick and feeling them they do feel quite soft I do quite like the look of these so I will let you know how I get on with these very excited to give them a try I've heard some really good things actually I've heard some people talk about these before and I think these are going to be a really nice alternative if they fit really nicely I would definitely order a lot more from this brand because there's nothing better than like not getting on with something finding an item in that like collection that you get on with so ordering a hundred thousand of them so yeah and then also from luxury legs they sent over a pair of really really cozy socks now these are definitely more along the lines of like the luxurious cashmere kind of socks like vibe and i'm obsessed with these these are so so soft they feel like a chenille fabric but i'm not entirely sure what fabric they actually are um oh it just says 100 percent polyester um but they are so so soft i absolutely love these these are going to be like my weekend with a pair of joggers i'm not leaving the house and i just want to have really cozy warm feet kind of a socks i'm very excited that these have been added to my wardrobe thank you so much luxury legs for sending these over these i think i'm going to need to get more of these in my wardrobe right i'm looking around thinking is that everything and i do believe that is everything that i wanted to show you in this video i really hope you enjoyed seeing what new and practical items i have been adding into my wardrobe i can't believe how much i've changed like in terms of hauls and stuff like what i was literally buying like a year and a half ago compared to what i'm buying now has changed so so much but it really does go to show how much the past year has affected everything including our wardrobes but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what i've been picking up as i said everything will be linked in the description box below if you did want to shop any of these items please be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it it really helps me out to know what kind of things that you guys like and on that note i think i'm gonna go out and have a bit of a walk and enjoy some fresh air with my new practical pieces so i hope you guys have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next video bye